Hello and good day everyone. My name is Margaret. I will be discussing a movie called A Beautiful Mind starred by Russell Crowe. He played John Nash who was the main character of this movie that had a mental disorder which is schizophrenia. According to DSM-5, schizophrenia defined as a psychotic disorder characterized by disturbances in thinking, emotional responsiveness, and behavior. I will give my opinion, perspective, and arguments based on this movie. Without further ado, let's start. Actually, I watched this movie, A Beautiful Mind, back in 2018, and during that time, I could not really understand what the main character's problem was. I thought it was just a normal delusion like normal people experience, but after I watched it the second time, I think I can relate it from what I have learned during a lecture delivered in class. In my opinion, this movie is understandable to my level of knowledge. The main character portrayed by Russell Crowe was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a sort of mental disorder that affects how a person thinks, behaves, and perceives something in daily life. Personally, I found that this movie is interesting to watch because I can see or realize the abnormalities or criteria of schizophrenia shown by the main character, John Nash. In the first part of the movie, John Nash does not show the prodromal phase of schizophrenia. However, he shows an active phase of his mental disorder whereby this phase is the most visible, such as delusion. The prodigal roommate arrives. John. According to DSM-5, for someone to be diagnosed with schizophrenia, they have to meet the criteria at least one or more of the symptoms must be present, such as delusion or hallucination. That would be a mathematical explanation for it. You gotta stop her, John. You leave her out of this. Who are you talking to? Stop. After a period of time undergoing treatment, John was able to be discharged from hospital. This part is where the relative or his partner have to play an important role in taking care of him and have to make sure that he is taking his medication well. However, the residual period starts to kick in. John was experiencing negative symptoms that may be due to the medication that he takes. In my perspective, he stopped taking his medication because of the side effects such as diminished emotional response, evolution, and more. Lastly, I have read somewhere that John stopped taking his medication. From my understanding, a person that was diagnosed with schizophrenia has to take their medication for the rest of their life. I just wonder how he managed to stop his medication and be able to go back to the community without it. Thank you.